Fifteen seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Sand King. Dire Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Hey hey, welcome back sports fans. For our first finals being streamed at the Very Light Network, this is the Leaders Championship 2014 finals between Leap Gaming and Invasion. Leap Gaming has just won against Narstex to advance themselves into this finals. And the five keyboards are still up for grabs for the first prize. As elected. I think that's electric. I don't know. E-Tech? E-Tech Leap Gaming? So they pick up the Centaur Warner and the Naga Siren first. Centaur Warner very good with that uh, reinitiation uh, with the Hoof Stomp. With now the dagger being uh, you don't have to use mana to let it run. You just have to wait for that cooldown to come off. Five seconds remaining. And that time that will be a uh, Destruction from the Shadow Demon to try and save you. So yeah, with no mana being needed for the Blink Dagger, I think I think that the Center Warren will be one of the re-engaging heroes. With the Mirana, maybe as a support for this lineup, since the Shadow Demon can open up with a disruption into this, uh, into the Sacred Arrow from Mirana, and maybe set up the Naga Siren for kills. But they have to be careful because on the other side, Invasion pick up the Ancient Apparition. Very good early damage with the chilling touch. Very good mid uh, game damage with the ice blast. So I think with the Naga Siren, Lip can get some of the straight ganks that can be coming from invasion. Uh, like we saw just now, Lip Gaming do, which was an uh, ancient apparition uh, ice blast into the Zeus Zap. They can do the same thing again for the side of invasion, which is the uh, ice blast into the epicenter, or just the ice blast into a. Uh, Bad Rider Lasso, so the Naga Siren Sleep will help against that. But yep, so Dazzle's out. Dazzle has been a nuisance in this game for the last three games. It's just like so hard to take down those heroes when you have a Shallow Grave by your side, but once you have a. Venomancer or a uh, dot hero, damage over time hero which has a shadow strike or uh, like Queen of Pain or the poison uh, or the Nova from poison Nova from the Venomancer, it, it still goes through that shallow grief which was shown to us just now if I'm not mistaken when uh, Invasion was going against uh, Nara stacks in the winner's bracket also which unfortunately we could not stream because I came a little bit late. It seems that nobody understands that uh, a certain thing called rituals that we do before the game, which is for me contains time being spent in the toilet for about 20 minutes. And with that out of the way, Timbersaw is picked up by the side of Invasion, so they can put the Timbersaw on the off lane or the safe lane, just put this HA Apparition sanking with one more core right at top. Right in the face of Leap Gaming's Mirana Shadow Demon Naga Siren combo. We'll just have to see, but with the Simbusaw pickup, I do think that they have the upper hand in terms of lane control. Since the Simbusaw can go well against the Centaur War Rider.
both will have each will have written and the reactive armor to kind of stand out in the lane form up those items but I think Timbersaw might be joining before the dagger comes up which I think Centaur might be played by Vulcans this time around Naga Siren should be picked up by game which is I think how they land, uh, run their lineup how they land Remaining. Sorry about that, I have to check Five to make sure the game is okay. Alright. Reserve time. Like uh, looks like everything is okay. So Envision will go ahead and take out the Viper and Leap will take out the Spectre. So anticipating that the Envision might go for something very late with the Spectre. Ten seconds remaining. But yep, they can do that. With this type of a lineup, they have a very gank oriented 4 man hero. But the Necroforce will be picked up by the side of Leap. Maybe it's to shut down the Stimbasaur. Who most probably will be going for the Bloodstone. Increases if he's HP, so the Necroforce can just right click him to half and Scythe of Vice. You know, it's not Scythe of Vice. Scythe of the Reaper or something. Reaper Scythe. Alright, the Reaper Scythe him down. So pretty cool, but it does look like the Necrophos is going hit and it will be going against the Pagna. So nice uh, pocket strike from Invasion, I guess. Pagna might be going mid. ADTR is bone, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll be playing the Sand King support. As the lines are being draw out, uh, drawn out, Vulcans is of course playing the Centaur, if I said. So at least I didn't get that wrong. Unfortunately, I cannot check the Steam profile, so if somebody knows, do tell me inside the stream. Then I can fix myself. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we cannot check the names of the players. 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds. But the Timber Saw should be no name on the off lane. ATR should be Bone. I think. Alright, let's and gents and sports fans alike. This is your first finals being streamed on the Violet Network. This is the Cooler Master Malaysia's Leaders Championship 2014 brought to you live. Being played by Invasion and Leap Gaming, who just won against Narstax very convincingly. And now they will go hit to hit for the first prize of 5 CM Quickfire Stealth Mechanical Keywords. Up for, for the first place. 8 teams have fought themselves into the finals, and not only 2 remain. As we introduce players, we have 3 2 1. I think this is FCFZ. I guess that's his name. Uh, on the ancient apparition, we have the Pakna being played by Snow. At least somebody on their side has their nicknames, right? ADTR is, I think, Bone playing on the Sand King. Looks like he's going to be helping with this mid for a little bit. While well, No Name will be going on the offering that lives. I think this is Kachi Imba that's left from the side of Invasion. If I am mistaken, not wrong that. I can try to fix it as Pagna get, get spotted out. Right, I'm gonna draw it, and that will show the trilim from Leap. It will expose the trilim from Leap for Invasion to try and change things around if they want to. But for now, it's going to be a duel between the uh, with the Ancient Apparition and uh, the Pagna I bought going against the trilim. Which is Dynasty on the Mira now. We have Genie playing the Shadow Demon. Game this time will be carrying on the Naga Siren. At mid, we have Leap, the captain, I guess, of the team. 
will be on the neck of us while at top we have Vulcans again soloing the safe lane on the center one rather against no name try again Oh my god, I was just checking something and just like that the first blast was first blood happened. Oh, oh invasion. Why you do me like that? I was just multitasking for a while to check the stream. But now as it stands, that was a free first blood for the bad rider. E Bad Riders EXP See that save there Wait what? Okay now it comes up And the Sand King's first blood If he does get a boot that will help him negate some of the disruption into arrow uh, Combo that might be coming up from leap but with the Naga Siren they might have to play it a little bit same Naga Siren usually farms up for that uh, Radiance first to try and push out the lane and then something like a Manta to help out with the mirror images push and her farming in the neutrals but if they want to take it fast they can go for a little bit of a pushing oriented lineup and just straight away go for the heart for the naga but we just have to see. Usually they get the casual Yasha first, right? Just to get the thing started. So that hasn't come up to plans yet. Maybe soon. As Genie now with Dynasty stealing up that Radiant Jungle. This is all due to P21. I think that's FCFZ being left with the mid hero Mr. Kachi Imba. To try and fend off this Necroforce by now. Both of them are here. And I think Bone is going to try and stack this up. Well, FZ will rotate to its bot. <laughs> to help hop with the Spark now. It's not doing so well in terms of farm. Sitting at 4 and 3 against the Naga Siren sitting at 9 and 1. He's getting zoned out a lot and does not snare. Then he comes in from the sides just to right click him a little bit and does a destruction. Is there an arrow? Oh, he will fly and he will hit. Snow will be easily taken out. He actually dodged that for about one second, but came back into the path. So quite okay, it is a one for one. And let me tell you though, Leap are doing very well in how they really engage and how they take the steam fights. And how they uh, react against this mid uh, being in danger since they already put the Necrophos uh, on first blood list sorry my throat is turning up <coughs> I was screaming a little bit in the fr uh, in the game before this but my voice is inside the game so it looks to be okay so let's see Bad Rider is going to be rushing for the dagger ay 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 gonna have to drink So a little bit of movement coming in from the Ancient Apparition and the Yeski, but will not find anybody out as Dynasty is being very careful, scouting out for the side of Leap. Still, it's a bit slow compared to the last game though. I would have thought with the Chilling Touch damage that they're gonna do a little bit more on the safe lane but yeah, instead Bad Rider goes and farms up his level 7 in the jungle while Boon is actually at mid and now Necroforce has to be careful because he can be jumped upon now Snow goes straight away onto the Naga Siren right clicking him does have the blast seeing at level 2 Okay, 2 seconds. I needed to check that. <laughs> the Gripify is at 2 seconds level 1. So will that go through the ensnare? Yep. So there can be some counter fights at this bot lane. 
between the decrypify and the ensnare. Oh, but no. Kichi tries to go in. Support rotation is coming in from the self leap. And straight away, he retreats. Knowing that the odds are not on his side. They're going to use his jungle again while... FZ is going to spot out the Shadow Demon, he gets the Trapsuit straight Then is going to come in with the stun, he will hit Gets SJFZ And the Soul Catcher damage ensures that they get the kill So nice rotation from there, they didn't even have to go up uphill that much But the side of Invasion, they do not have that much vision on it On the other side of the river Just didn't spot out the Shadow Demon coming in So it's now 2 to 1, we are 6 minutes in Let's see, in terms of CS, Naga is doing okay, 27 to 8, but the bad rider is ahead with Vulcans getting taken out at top. There's another rotation from Bone. He's been in the presence all throughout this map, but that's because of this ancient apparition. Hasn't been showing himself that much, and... Well, would worth to note that it's Kofit and Vortex instead of the Chilling Touch. On the ancient apparition, so might have been a little bit different, but oh, Dynasty Ellipse uh, gets pulled in. Bone is there to help with the damage, but there's a safety disruption from Genie. Now, the follow up burrow strike will not get him. Now, Lips in trouble, he gets damaged by the Firefly. Now, they get take him out. Really, two two drop Shadow Shaman who came in to try and help burns under the Bat Riders Firefly. So they get a 2 for nil, which I think was okay just now, but the burst strike in just ensured that the necrophosis couldn't run away. But they lose the Shadow Demon on the way out. So Invasion still doing okay in that department, there, but they are leaving this Naga to free from though, but not being contested that much by Snow since he can burst him down with the Nether Blast, but. That's not gonna deter Naga's right clicks from farming up the Radiance and the Riptide from doing its job. So Nabu nearly to his dagger. 1.6k. I imagine that will be his first item in Champion now waiting for the boots to arrive. Dagger is finished up on the Bat Rider. We did see that in play just now. And Snow now getting engaged on a little bit. The arrow to fly will not hit. Oh, it was barely there. Now there's no mana on uh, on the Mirana, so they can turn this around if they want to take fight. But now, Mister No Name is might be in trouble. But Falcon's already dropped some value. He has to re-engage. There goes the Who Stomp gets him down, but he will be able to survive from that. Holy hammers! Why couldn't I admit again? Every time I try to multitask and check the stream, they get a 1 for 1 at mid. Necroforce will take a fall along with the Bat Rider. But yeah, that's, it does hinder this Necroforce uh, from farming a little bit since the Bat Rider already got his dagger using the NC to his advantage. That helps him farm faster than the Necroforce who does not have the luxury of doing the same thing. Jungle's not even close. Oh, the Chakram damage and the Timber Chain. Nicely timed the Ancient Apparition with the Ice Blast from the other side of the map. Not so much of the other side. It was actually a mid, but far enough. Now Snow Sneak farming towards a uh, mech. Which looks to be the first item for him. Bat Rider is dead. To kind of help out, waiting for the cooldown of his lasso to come up. Off. Yeah, somebody's in danger. Getting disrupted and bursted down. That's a shadow demon. Nobody's safe there. It was just him. So he's now 73. Invasion with this rotation from the SK. Played by Bone, I guess. And the ancient apparition. Just kind of staying at mid. Ensured that they got the kills up at top. And at mid. And now the engagement in. Inside the jungle, Vulcans gets lassoed up and that's asleep. To disengage everybody and now the arrow to fly will not hit. Barely dodges, uh, dodged by Kachi Imbak. Man of the safety destruction saves the Naga Siren. But he can't run away. Gets taken out. Now Shadow Demon trying to right click. 
But it's actually the epicenter getting bursted down. It will be the shadow demon to drop. Now can they get dynasty though? Nope, just off cooldown for the burst strike. But already to, to drop for the side of uh leap. They're still giving chase onto Valkyrs now, but there is no lasso anymore. But Kachin Bar still giving chase, he gets stunned up. And there's the flame break, nicely pushes Vulcans back. And I think they're gonna be able to finish him off. But now Necrophos comes in, uses the size to kill off the uh, ancient apparition. But now, Bad Rider will be able to run away since he has a firefly on his side. So what an engagement by Invasion, that took forever, but. It all started off with the Naga, I guess. And Vulcans being off position. Now somebody's getting spotted out in the lane, it is no. Tries to drive away the other side. So catcher is on him. He gets two stacks of demonic poison, and there's the blink in from Bone. And straight away, they burst him down with the Timosaur being online. Very easy burst damage. Now Naga tries to run away. He's a bit more tanky than his other teammates, but. It's just a little bit too much for the side of Vision now in terms of burst. They cannot depend on this Mirana to get the stun off since they cannot finish the hero off. When they only have a Naga on their side. Naga is okay in terms of... Uh, you can leave him there to farm up if you are on the Radiant side. It's a little bit easier to do that. But once you're on Dire, on an aggressive trialing, you can't really do much unless the partner has been left alone. Now there's a pull onto the Shadow Demon. He gets right clicked. But he just stopped himself to try and run away, but... No cigar, my friend. The stacks are there to ensure that the bad rider will get the right click to kill him. And that's another safety disruption of the fight. While Leap might be getting sieged at mid. Arrow to fly. I see hits on no name, but there is no follow up. While at mid, Bad Rider actually gets another kill up on the Necrophos. No farm for him. Has the BOT right now, but that, that does not ensure that he can survive the fight. And now the blink in into the stun and a chakra into a team with chain. There's just so much burst when you have no name here. Falcons wants to give chase. Doesn't have a dagger yet. Goes for the whole storm, but he's dropping very low from the uh, Nether Blast already. There's a blink every sudden in fresh and even drops. Four to take a four for the side of Leap. Three at the bottom lane. Holy crap, it's already 17 to 4. Invasion are just bursting down leap. One by one. Yeah, but now I can say that... I don't know. People in the chat might not be saying anything, but I guess people in the game will be saying, Oh, what the heck is wrong with the leap's draft? I think the draft is, uh, is making them suffer a little bit, going for this Naga on the off lane. And then you have so much burst from the side of Invasion. They should have just taken Pangnan instead of Necrophos instead. That would have done some damage against this blinking, uh, against this blinking SK, but... Yeah, she says it's only 13 minutes in, already 17 to 14. I bite my tongue in disgrace for what I said, that the first 5 minutes wasn't uh, that much impactful with uh, fights. Oh, the blink! Bone will dodge. Didn't seem that there was any fight, but suddenly Invasion woke up and turned the tides of the fight. And it's 17 to 4, 14 minutes in. The go graph is heavily in their favor. 7,005 along with the EXP, 10,000 ahead. And now again, Chimba Pose and Genie in the Ice Blast. There's nowhere to run. Frost beaten to death. The Pet Rider will burn him with a Firefly. Now they want to go in again on the Necrophos, but that's. The Moonlight Shadow, Mirana was trying to dodge the other way. He's getting spotted out. There is a Scythe onto SK, but he will survive. I think by the skin of his he's dropping very low though. But I can see the icon, he manages to survive. And now Valkyrie is in charge of the Nebula Blast to fly. He drops down very low, but he will be healed. Arrow to latch. He's on FCSZ and instantly, Gucci goes up. Well, as you can see, there is no mech carrier for the side of uh, Leap. And there won't be against uh, or any pipe against all this magical damage from the side of Invasion. Along with that payoff from that, uh, what's it called again? Uh, not Timber Chain. Uh, 
I'm gonna cheat. Willing death. Ah. No, there's a dust. I'm not too sure what they they can accomplish with that. And there's an aggressive fling instant from the SK. They get inst uh, the Shadow Demon down. Now Valkyrie has to run away. Tries to re-engage, but it's not very low. Now Dynasty leap, getting bring up front with the lasso. Burns inside the Firefly. It is not by the team we saw. And everybody just took a team fight behind, right beside the leap tier mid tier two, and still they were able to take a team fight, just because they have this Spagna there to ensure that they have the Nether Blast, the stun with the Burrow Strike, the Firefly damage into the Flame Break, the team with Chain, Whirling Death and Chakram. It's just so much burst from Invasion. I don't know. Leap might need a BKB, but there is still a lesser that. We'll go through it, and if they get anybody or uh, any of these squishy supports from Leap, there is no safety disruption anymore to try and save the carries. Fran and Naga suffering in terms of farm. It is 60 minutes in. She he has still yet to find her relic, and the SK instead going aggressive this time again. And this is a good thing also, if they don't want to take a team fight, Invasion can just try and push. They, lo uh, they have a lot of sustainability with the Timber Saw who can usually just Timber Chain and Chakram decide if they want to push. Because <laughs> she spots out the angel and actually just goes in front to creep skip. But now there is escape from in front. And it looks like Leap will Moonlight Shadow back to base and try and defend this. Three players want to start with Vision are at the top. They want to try and seek or just take a team fight, but they can do so. Support is coming, maybe. Could be, should be from the Batrider. Not yet. So let's check out the items. The mech on the park now. The four stuff on the Batrider, we, we did see that just now. And still lacking items on the self leap. Necrofoss, I don't know. Went for a BOT first. I really think that they needed a mech or a pipe to take uh, all this magical damage from invasion but she went the other route a bit yeah, I would say but I think they anticipated that they're gonna be able to push fast but this Naga getting shut down not being able to farm out that much and now all the space to farm is being taken away from the side of invasion that really is not gonna come anytime soon not at least by invasion standards since if they see the Naga, they can just straight jump in. Naga baits out the ensnare. So it baits out the burst strike. And now there's a blink in. They are supposed to fly. Whoa, pop on the Naga, and there's the Timber Chain in. Easily finished off. They burst him down then. 2.5k. Okay, you are watching the very lag. Uh, network and this is a CM Storm Leader's Championship 2014 Finals between Leap Gaming and Invasion. Leap Gaming just won against Nara's Tax. Very convincing fashion. 35 to 20 if I'm not mistaken. But now they are 22 and 4 behind in terms of kills, behind in terms of EXP and goal. Goal at 15k, EXP at 15 also. And they're just suffering at the same way as Nara did in terms of the team fight potential that. They went a bit greedy with this Necroforce going mid and taking BOTs first and then they went for a very good early gank with the disruption into the uh, Sacred Arrow but there is no follow up since it's only a Naga from behind. I don't know there was a lot more heroes from the pool that they could have just taken of course. The Ember Spirit and the Lycan was banned early on that was pretty standard but other than that, Nip is just suffering under the fires of invasion and the firefly. So I hope everything's okay in the stream. If you have any problems, do let me know. I'll try to fix it as soon as I can. But it does look like it's running fine. If you guys are getting confused or still in the dark, 
about whose voice you're hearing. I'm Win and I will be casting and I am casting your finals today. Between Leap and Invasion on the very light network for CM Storm. No, that's an aggressive Firefly to kill off and finish off the Necrofoss with an easy Timber Chin. And now there is no size of Vice to kind of hold down this Bat Rider from jumping in. What can they do now? Slowly getting 6 up at top. The arrow to latch, but it's only on the Timber Saw, so. I think he'll be happily trading that stun. But now there's a blink in onto Dynasty. The Burrows right to follow the epicenter. No. Actually, the sleep. Song on the Siren. Vulcans already dropped, so they can't re engage. Arrow to fly. Will hit on the puck now, so Aegis will pop. But they're still very healthy. All five plays one vision here. They can still burst down the barracks. And there's a blink in front by Kachi, but instantly Shadow Demon drops. My oh my. How the mighty has fallen. Leap has been playing tremendously well for the past two weeks. It's sad to see out the, uh, to see them go out in this faction, but they did win against Nara Stacks and now Hegrofoss again getting taken out. So I think that will be it folks. They were playing so convincingly awesome for the first two weeks. Played nicely against Nara just now. Their draft was okay. Even now drafted 3 for 3 for I would say a little bit. Since 3 for 3 did not uh, draft to his own composition that we are usually see, uh, seeing from Nara Stacks. But as it says, Nara Stacks would take third. Leap will take second and Envision are your champions for the Leaders Championship 2014 brought to you by Kulu Master Manager stream on the Red Light Network. I'm Win. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. If you guys have the time, do check out verylag.com. That is the site that we have on the gaming community of Malaysia. We are trying to support whatever we can, trying to do whatever we can to help boost up your image and your names to create your own leagues for the locals. So do check that out if you have the time. The VODs are here on the Verilet Network. I'm Wayne. That's it for me tonight. Thanks again for watching. Good night.